The Career Cluster of Transportation, Distribution, and Logistics includes all of the ways in which we move around people and materials. We move them around by train, plane, pipelines, and trucks, and all sorts of other ways. We need people to design that, implement it, and then figure out all the logistics that come up and manage those logistics. My name is Byron Kamadi. I'm the Director of Strategic Planning and Analysis for SEPTA, which is the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. I don't think planning is an easy domain to just sort of pigeonhole. It's, it's the, uh, the ability to, to see into the future a little bit and adapt and strategically go in a direction. I actually was originally going to be a police officer. And when I come out of, came out of the military, I had a mechanical background also, and I needed a job. And that's how I ended up in the trucking industry. And from the trucking industry, I came into transit. It kind of rose on you. Okay? I got into transit, and it sort of got into my blood, and I've been here ever since. I started out in, in the maintenance. And, and over the years, I've worked my way through various jobs in maintenance, maintenance and engineering, transportation. Um, and I've recently, within the last six, eight months, been appointed to um, head of operations here. I think for the most part, you really have to be interested in serving the public. And we find out there are our best employees, the people that really want the job, wants to serve the public, and really do a good job in dealing with the general public. We are a big company. We have accountants, we have lawyers, we have engineers, we have CPAs, but we also have people right out of high school. I was always into working on cars. We had a training program in high school and I worked on automobiles, did body work and also rebuilt a lot of engines and transmissions. I got the job with SEPTA, came in as a uh, helper. And from there on, I started to advance myself. In the past year, they started phasing us in on the hybrid vehicles out of our particular location. At the moment, we have uh, 205 hybrid buses within our fleet. The hybrid at lower speeds operates on pure electric. And as it um, accelerates, it blends in diesel power as it needs to at, at higher speeds. Oh, I got a hybrid today. <laughs> Somebody like me. Yeah, this is a smoother ride. The hybrids, it's a much smoother ride. Because the passengers have already told me it's a much smoother ride. And the bumps that I've been feeling before on the same route, you don't feel it. Our short-term horizon for the planned replacement of our current diesel buses is to get 472 hybrid buses within the next two to three years. It's a very sophisticated piece of equipment. We believe that it's our best alternative right now. A standard diesel motor, you would see a lot more soot, smoke, a haze coming out the exhaust system. You see a noticeable difference in the shop where you would see smoke all over the place. Where a hybrid vehicle, if you have it running, you would see nothing come out of the exhaust pipe at all. The days that a bus is on the corner and starting up and this big black uh, puff of smoke comes out of the exhaust has been long gone. I get up in the morning and I know that I'm going to make a difference because I'm going to be talking all day about an agenda which is very, very, very green and all about sustainability. So I know I've moved the ball forward. My mission is, is for people to recognize that there's no reason to have two or three cars parked in your driveway and, and to commute. I can come in every day and I see a vehicle and I see people on the platforms or people on the corner and vehicles on the track and vehicles going down the street and say, you know, I'm a part of that. My job started out as a regular diesel mechanic and with all the new technology slowly is developing into a green career because everything's been changed. Everybody wants a cleaner running vehicle for ourselves and for the environment. The single most important thing we can do in this cluster is have less miles traveled per person. So one of the best ways to do that is to get people into public transportation and make sure that those buses and trains and so forth are running on fuels that are, are alternative fuels. All over the United States, you see examples where that is happening. 